that's a very striking image there. These nations were going up to Jerusalem to learn. Currently, people learn war establishments which teach you how to be soldiers, how to kill, and that's going to stop. They're going to learn not to have weapons of war. Everybody will sit under his fig tree. That's an image of peace in your own garden, and nobody's going to make you afraid. Right now, the opposite is true. We have to arm ourselves to the teeth, to protect ourselves against enemy weapons. But in that day was the gospel of the kingdom. This is the vision of the future, which gives you goose, goose bumps, it should all of us. It's a vision of the earth at peace, and they're not going to have any army establishments. The West Points, you might say, and the Sandhursts of today's world, those where they, they train soldiers, those will be curio museums. People will visit them and say, do you remember what we used to do? We used to train people to kill each other. We're not doing that anymore. That is a huge, huge blessing. And that is the essence of hope. Faith and love are because of hope. That's Colossians 1.4. If you haven't got this hope clear in your mind, you're starving the virtue of love and faith. Colossians 1.4. Love and faith are because of, because you're clear about this hope, that's going to enable you then to have love and faith as well. So hope is very, very important. You're preparing then to help fix the world, which will be under new management at that time. Jesus will be the manager of everything, the governor, the God referred to there is the God of Moses, the God of Jacob, and the God of Jesus. Jesus, of course, is not God, but he's the son of God, and he's the chosen manager of that future rule of God, which is going to be successful. The first successful, genuine New World Order, not the counterfeit, pretend New World Order that we're trying to achieve now, not that, but the real New World Order of the future.